I'm beginning to say that. Knowing Arabic is not a criteria to go to Jannah because I myself don't know Arabic. I myself don't know Arabic as a language. Show you, show you a little bit here and there, I understand. I don't know Arabic as a language, but my son knows, mashallah. He knows better than me. He can translate the Quran directly, I can't. I myself don't know Arabic as a language. Show you, show you a little bit here and there, I understand. I don't know Arabic as a language, but my son knows, mashallah. He knows better than me. He can translate the Quran directly, I can't. As my son said, more than 80% of the Muslims are non-Arab. And they don't know Arabic as a language. So it is the most widely read book in the world, but it is also the book which is maximum read without understanding. I would like to give an example of the man. The man, the person who changed my life and converted me from a doctor of a body to a doctor of soul. And I'm sure you know the name of that man. He's none other than Sheikh Ahmad Tidad. Let us compare his goal setting. Sheikh Ahmad Didad. And if you know the life history of Sheikh Ahmad Didad, he acquired education only till standard six. Because both his ends could not meet, he was forced to leave his education. After passing standard six, he was forced to leave his education. A man with small means. And he strived for 40 years till the time he challenged the stalwarts of Christianity. Imagine a sixth standard pass man strive for 40 years and challenge the stalwarts of the world. You know, a number six standard pass man in 1986. He gets the biggest award in the Muslim world. He is awarded the King Faisal Award for service in humanity. A six-standard man. He didn't do for the award. 